First, we need to investigate the expert. Finding out about their academic degrees and professional experience is a good first step, but we should also do some additional Googling to find out more. What institutions or organizations are they associated with? Who funds their work? What else have they written? What have other people written about them? Do they publish in respected sources? Do they have a public social media account? The goal is to get a better sense of the person's point of view and their reputation within a broader community. Second, we need to evaluate the context. Authority is contextual, which means we should evaluate a person's level of expertise based on the particular context or situation in which their information will be used. If we're researching global warming, we need to consider the views of scientists, but not just any scientists will do. We need to hear from climate scientists, environmental scientists, and others with relevant expertise. But if we're researching the spread of a pandemic across society, then epidemiologists and public health experts would be our go-to sources, not climate scientists. Third, we need to explore the conversation. Experts in a given community frequently disagree in good faith on matters large and small, but there may also be areas of agreement or consensus. Consider global warming again. Climate scientists continue to discuss and debate particular aspects of the issue, but they overwhelmingly agree that human activity contributes significantly to global warming. Someone who suggests otherwise, even if they have an advanced academic degree, is misrepresenting the expert consensus, likely with an aim to deceive. Exploring the conversation on a topic means developing enough background knowledge to not only identify this kind of deception, but also understand the nuances of expert opinion. Like all of us, experts make mistakes. Even the peer review process is subject to human error and potential bias. But to be strong, critical thinkers and effective participants in a democratic society, we must acknowledge the limitations of our own knowledge and seek expert guidance. Our job is to dig deep enough to ensure we are relying on the most accurate and most credible information possible. In other words, think like an expert. <laughs>